If you're looking for a really delicious chocolate fudgy cake recipe, nothing beats a Texas sheet cake. Super chocolatey, and they say it's Texas big, so it is on a really big sheet pan. Makes a lot. You can cut it into small pieces or large pieces, but it's one of my go-to recipes because it does make a lot, and while it's chocolatey, it's not too heavy. Always great, too, with a little side of mint chocolate chip ice cream. So let me show you how easy it is to make. You're going to start out with a saucepan, and you're going to add two sticks of butter. We're gonna add a quarter cup of your processed Dutch cocoa powder. This is unsweetened. And one cup of water. We're gonna put this on our stove on low heat just till that butter melts and this becomes the delicious sort of chocolate sauce that's gonna be mixed into our other baking ingredients. I'm gonna let that finish melting and then you let it cool. And while that's cooling, I'm gonna mix up the rest of our cake ingredients. So pretty simple recipe here, not any crazy ingredients that you probably don't already have in your pantry. So we're gonna start out with two cups of all-purpose flour. Then we're gonna add two cups of sugar. And then I have some salt and some baking soda. And I like to mix those together in my mixer just to sort of get everything evenly distributed. And once the flour and the sugar all blend together, we're gonna add in our cooled chocolate mixture. So here's our melted chocolate cocoa mixture. Um, I'm gonna pour that slowly into my flour. And we'll raise that up again, make sure that's all good. Just start mixing it together. To your chocolate mixture, you're gonna add two eggs. And then a half a cup of sour cream. So once we have our cake batter all mixed up, it's a pretty liquid batter, and you pour it into a sheet pan, hence the Texas sheet cake, right? Um, this is a jelly roll pan, it's about 10 by 15. So you pour it into your pan. If you have a nonstick pan, I don't really think you need to grease it, but if you always do a spray, feel free to do that. So I love how easy it is to just pour this batter into your pan. Here's a little trick my grandmother taught me. Always do a couple drops on your counter. Takes care of any air bubbles that might be in there. And then we're gonna put this inside our oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. If you have a convection oven and you're using that feature, probably keep an eye on it around 15 minutes. So let's get this baking. And then while we're baking, we'll make up the delicious frosting that goes on top. So while the cake is baking, I've started the steps to make the frosting. That's melted butter, some milk, some more cocoa powder. I'm going to add that to one box of confectioners or powdered sugar. This frosting is so delicious. It's really what takes the lightness of the cake to that fudgy level. And then I'm also going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla. We'll mix this around. Now the real secret with this cake is that as soon as it's done baking, that's when you want to put the frosting on. I know a lot of times when it comes to baking, you're usually doing things like sitting the cake out for a couple of hours, waiting for it to cool, and then you're going back and frosting it. Not here. Once this all gets mixed together and then you put it on that warm cake, it's like some of it melts down into the cake. It's enjoyable, really gives a moist flavor. It's just so good, you have to try it. So I'm gonna get this all mixed up. I can then set this aside and hopefully my cake will be done in just a few minutes and we'll slather it on there. So our cake is all finished and remember, we're gonna ice this now that it's still warm. That frosting is gonna melt into the cake, then you let it cool. And it's funny, when this frosting cools, it almost becomes a little bit like a glaze, but it's so rich with flavor, it's so good. So spread it around. When it's warm like this, it really 
glides easily. Add a little bit more there. And then usually I like to, from this point, let the cake sit out totally cool, and then you can slice it up and dig in. They call it the Texas sheet cake because you make it in a sheet pan, and it's as big as the state of Texas. I don't care what you call it, I just call it good. Enjoy. Thank you.